morning morning everybody michelle is here on this beautiful morning may 30th 2024 and may 30th 2024 is a special day for me it's a birthday of my mom who passed away in 2021 and she usually celebrates her birthday on may 30th you know uh, I like to remember those t kind of days because she was always happy about her birthday, you know, and, and being celebrated. And we definitely celebrated her. And those are the things that I like to remember. Uh, I don't, I mean, that's what I focus on, really, is the happiness and the joy having my parents brought to me and being appreciative of what they were able to instill within me and how they were able to raise me to be the woman that I am today based on their values and virtues. So I put out a video earlier about values and virtues and all of us, it doesn't matter who you are, need to, need to determine and consider what that is and what that means to you. And then ask yourself, are you, are you living your values and virtues? Okay, and values and virtues doesn't necessarily have anything to do so much about, um, you know, because, um, I think a lot of people are, you know, as, as usual, are attempting to um, uh, dismiss certain things about what that means to have values and virtues, okay? They think it just means in certain areas of their life. They don't, they don't know that it's a, it encompass everything about who you are as a material consciousness person, a material conscious person, okay? Your values and virtues go deep. Okay, they go into the deep spiritual realm of who you are. They're not just this this sham of uh, uh, superficiality that a lot of people like to throw out and, and carry on about when they are when they know deep within they have no moral character any more than anyone else that they point out that may have some de deficiency some, somehow based on judgment. There's a lot of people running around. Uh, as poster boys and poster girls, you know, attempting to tell you how to be uh, a decent human being, uh, a loving human being, you know, with values, virtues, and you stand on, you know, you stand on ground of reality. You know, you genuinely care about people. You want to help people. You're not out to fleece them. You know, and and mis and mislead them into these deceptions, these Ponzi schemes, these pyramid schemes. You know, taking these hard, the hard working uh, human beings that are that have built this country, built this world, built this universe, whatever, whatever terminology you want to use. We uh, there are some people that are intentionally riding the backs of uh, hard working human beings, and that's their whole intention and purpose. They don't want to work. They want someone else to work for them and do the things that they could do but won't do. A lot of it comes from um, biological feminine acting males, you know, that are, that are dragging our society because of their laziness and their consciousness. You know, it, somebody else needs, you know, they always want to be the leaders, those types. You know who I've talked about on the many, many videos I have out there. You know, that they are, they always wanna be the leaders, always rambling about all of, all of who they think they are, when it's all nothing more, nothing less than smoke and mirrors. They're show ponies, okay? They haven't read a goddamn book. They have no idea what's in the Constitution at all. There's always someone behind the scenes that's reading it to them, you know, like they're children, okay? So they're going to have a rude awakening, okay, and it's time, right? Everybody's talking about time. Well, you know, there is um, timing of everything, and it's called cause and effect, okay, reaping what you've sown. Nothing can escape it, okay, because it's a form of energy that no one can take, touch. And that's what drives a lot of scientists that have uh, bestowed themselves as such, to have gone madly insane because they want, they want, they're so jealous of that type of energy that they can't touch. They're so jealous because they know that they are nothing 
instead of seeing that as something powerful. No, I'm a scientist. No, I'm this. And then what they what's being determined in clear sight is there's nothing more, nothing less than uh, pathetic, especially, you know, uh, failures of their own self-creation. Okay. And, they, and they're going to stay failed because they cannot release themselves from their delusion and hallucination about how powerful and how wonderful they think they are. They're getting a rude awakening. And thankfully, a lot of us are going to be able to witness it. Yes, we have a lot of chaos, destruction. Our planet is being destroyed from the inside out. Okay? Uh, they, we, we, you know, it's too late to do anything. So anyone rambling about climate crisis, you know, they're delusional and hallucinating. You know, they, they, they don't have the courage to tell you the truth that this planet is being destroyed. And it's because... It's because of the population of human beings, you know, ramping up population, ramping up goods, ramping up materialism, and, and destroying the planet. It's easily, if they want to calculate statistics, that's easily can be calculated and determine what the problem is instead of focusing on here, focusing on there. You know, they're rambling about uh, fossil fuels, but they haven't, they're ramping up more fossil fuel uh, production than ever. They're talking, as we used to say back in, in our culture, talking out of the side of their neck. Okay, in other words, they're just rambling and, and, and regurgitating garbage about what's really going on. So, there's so many people that are going to get the wake up call of a lifetime. Okay. And again, when it comes to values and virtues, I mean, it, it, anyone that has them, like I do and many others that are helping, and I, like I say, I want to send love to them, we can determine who's solid and who's not, who's full of it and who's not, okay? There's a lot of shallowness and superficiality in, in all realms of some, certain lives of people. And a lot of them, like I said, want to stay in leadership positions. They don't want to ever leave, you know, this nepotism, favoritism, all of that going on constantly. It's that same face of people that will not get the hell out of the way and allow someone else and others to come in and help and assist with this planet. That's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm going to help people to help others. How about that? Again, let's go back to something um, like virtues. It says here, and I'm just pulling it up. It says virtues is a trait of excellence, including traits that may be moral, social, or intellectual. Okay? It's the cultivation and refinement of virtues that is held to be the good of, of humanity. Now, how many of you scientists out there are doing things for the good of humanity how many of you politicians are doing things for the good of humanity okay you can't fool your consciousness so if you come out and, and talk all sophisticated and lying out of your mouth about what you're doing that's going to come back and haunt you okay i know a lot of people have had enough right of of especially on the political realm of this back and forth, if it's not one thing, it's, it's another. The spinning of words, the spinning of information, intentionally causing confusion and divisiveness. But a lot of us are clever enough, or I should say, uh, let's say it, a lot of us are more concerned about the realities of our situations. And we can see through all of it, is my point. We know what's going on, but we know and anybody that's attempting to help somebody or to teach somebody or do whatever you're, the terms you want to use, you know you need to be strategic about it, okay? Simpleness doesn't exist in a lot of uh, realities of a lot of people. A lot of people are living complicated, self-created complicated lives. And they just need some guidance to, to 
unravel themselves out of that. That's what I plan to do as well. And it starts with how you're thinking. How are you thinking? And a lot of people don't understand thinking at all. A lot of people don't understand consciousness, most definitely. And we've allowed so many things to be meshed together where it's just nothing but simple confusion. Simple confusion. And so I hope to unsimplify that for a lot of people. And I will. And I know others are. And I, like I said, I want to say, send out love, universal love to those of you that understand, like a lot of people say, or saying, understand the assignment. I, I, I genuinely hope, and I, and I say this because you just never know what someone's intentions are. Unless you can go inside someone's brains and in their thoughts, you know what I mean? And, and which is not, which you cannot do. Let me make that very clear. You know, I said that before. So, like I said, sometimes you have to put out pieces and see how people respond to it. Your thoughts come from your what? Your consciousness. Ideas come from your consciousness. And no scientist, no matter how crazy they are, because most of them are, cannot touch it. Sorry. So that's why some... You know, some idiot acting, behaving, quote unquote, whoever they are, believes that, okay, let me just put a probe in the, in the brain and see if we can get those thoughts. Okay, you're going to be sadly confused and sadly disappointed because the mind, the brain, the circuits in there have functions for the physical, not the spiritual. Hello, are you there? Are you listening? Are you paying attention? That probe is only, that probe is similar to having, having an electrical outlet such. That probe is just like adding another electrical outlet and plugging it into the same, what, brain. That probe that is being lodged in, in the brains of victims. Gosh, they're being victim. Sometimes victims get victimized over and over and over and over and over again. And you know why? It's because they're, they're unconscious in, in their uh, realities. They're not paying attention. I mean, l l let's be clear. They're unconscious. So they don't know what is happening to them. They, they, they believe that people have their best interests. No. There's a reason why certain people keep being victimized over and over and over and over. Everyone, it's like every so often they're always having to be saved or rescued. That's going to be hard, brutal honesty that a lot of people are going to have to accept about their realities. That they are self-creating it. That's harsh for some people to take. But truth is, the truth can be harsh. Okay. There's no, if you are a victim over and over and over and over and over, that's something happening within you. But you may be unconscious and don't realize that's what's happening. Be kind and gentle when you take on brutal honesty like that. I'm not, in other words, take it off the personal and see if you can strip yourself of all of this ego based uh, existence and realize that you are more than just your ego. Your ego is there for a reason. Okay, we are spiritual. We are part of that energy that no one can touch, not even with a probe. That probe is just intrusive to the, the functioning of the brain. The brain knows how to function if you are thinking properly, but when, once you go in there and start interfering, which has been happening for decades upon decades upon decades, hundreds, maybe thousands of years of interference, some people are going to be reaping the benefit, uh, reaping the. Uh, uh, the devastation of that, okay, because they were not doing that for the good of humanity. They was doing that for the good of their ego. Okay, so now a, a certain races of people are going to be disappearing and eliminating themselves. Figure it out. It's not rocket science, okay? It's not. And and the thing is, is the reason I have no concerns about it is because certain certain um, ancestral backgrounds of people 
have been know that they have been interfering. They know their uncle may have been interfering. They know their great 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 granddaddy was interfering in the in the in the uh, development of certain human beings. And usually they were women and women of color. Hello, is being discovered and being uncovered and being unearthed. Okay. They were warned thousands of years ago, maybe millions of years ago, not to interfere and not to mi mix with certain people. But no, you know, some people think they are above, uh, you know, above everyone and they can do whatever they want. Well, yes, you can. You do have free will, but you do have consequences as well. Okay, so I advocate, again, for biological women. I advocate more specifically for black biological women, okay? And my mission is to help to repair the cult, the consciousness, okay? And that and and I specialize in black women, biological black women. That's what I know. That's why I focus my attention there. Okay? Now, anyone else can, hey, you can come along on the ride if you want to. But once you start interfering, okay, you're going to be dismissed. Right? And that's what usually happens anyway. Um, and, you know, dismissing it is going to be almost next to impossible because we know that certain rules... And, and, and regulations don't apply to certain people. We know that. So, my tones and sounds have to represent the urgency of what we are facing, okay? We are collapsing, not on the verge of it, it's, a, it's collapsing, okay? It's in process, in progress, it's happening, okay? In other words, it cannot be stopped, all right? But at the same time, and it's, this may sound, you still need to evolve your consciousness, even if, even in the midst of storm, even in the midst of destruction, you still are responsible and accountable for evolving your consciousness, okay? Because that spiritual part of you is what you represent. The materialism, you know, it, you, it'll just have to be passed on to another materialism. If something happens to me, this body here, I will just pass, my energy will flow, immediately escape, and the essence of who I am and how I develop myself will go on and be passed to the next flesh and blood, the next body, okay? We pay attention to nature. Nature is teaching us what it means to be Reborn, you know, as people call it. They used to call it reincarnation. Hey, take yourself there. Pleading ignorance is only going to make it harder on you. Okay, and the, and the people that I'm working with, you know, there's an essence in, inside of all of us. Okay, let me just be very specific. There's an essence in, in black women that represent the whole. A lot of people don't want to hear that, but that's the truth. And in due time, in due time, that will be revealed and inescapable. Okay? Now, does that mean that that we're better than anybody else? That, okay, that sounds illogical. Okay? That's illogical. But our scientists have intentionally hid certain information from the collective of people on this planet. And I, I can guarantee you, if the collective of people knew this thousands of years ago, millions of years ago, we wouldn't be on the verge again of destroying ourselves. Okay? Peace and love, everybody. Even in the midst of storm. And trust me, I'll be back.